हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द नॉन इन्वेसिव कार्सिनोमा ऑफ ब्रेस्ट इन दिस क्लास लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द इन्वेसिव ब्रेस्ट कार्सिनोमा इन इन्वेसिव ब्रेस्ट कार्सिनोमा देयर इज इनफिल्ट्रेटिंग डक्ट कार्सिनोमा Infiltrating duct carcinoma. Here, uh, NOS. NOS is not otherwise specified. So this infiltrating breast breast carcinoma is the most common carcinoma. And if someone speaks about breast cancer or breast carcinoma, he or himself. he or she always means that it is infiltrating ductal carcinoma unless un unless uh, otherwise specified so this is the classic carcinoma and it is 70% of carcinoma the most common type of carcinoma and this carcinoma clinically it shows a hard consistency with dense collagenous stroma so clinically if there is a patient he comes with a uh, swelling with hard consistency why is it hard consistency it may be due to dense collagenous stroma r represents reason yeah it may be due to dense collagenous stroma so this is called as serous carcinoma it is most common in the left breast and upper medial portion of the breast has uh, it was seen before so right now if we come to the morphological features of the breast uh, if it's grossly the tumor is irregular irregular tumor which is 1 to 5 cm in diameter there is hard cartilage like mass is seen and on cut surface the tumor is gray white to yellowish in color with chalky streaks right and it extends irregularly so histologically speaking as the name may suggest this tumor is different from other special types of tumor as it has no regular or uniform pattern throughout the lesion no uniform pattern is seen so first let us draw the histological picture as we always do for any type of carcinoma so basically the histological picture uh, has mainly three different uh, three different uh, what do we say features so one is there are anaplastic tumor cells right the tumor cells are in the form of nests these are the nests of tumor cells or cords of tumor cells there may be nests of tumor cells or cords of tumor cells which look in different uh, shapes right all uh, right these are nests of tumor cells you can see the nests of tumor cells which i am drawing so these are the nests of tumor cells and these are the cords of tumor cells right it mainly consists of anaplastic that is with different shapes and the cells are pleomorphic some are big cells some are small cells like this all right and these are anaplastic tumor cells and there is infiltration of these tumors is also seen in the fibrous stroma has these and there is invasion of peri vascular and perineural uh, spaces 
as well as lymphatic and vascular infiltration and the stroma is turned as a little um, fibrous stroma and in some places uh, there is a uh, comedo pattern is also seen this is the comedo pattern with tumor cells around so this is infiltrating ductal carcinoma diagram so what are the features that it shows as i said it shows three different features one is it has anaplastic tumor cells with solid nests solid nests cords and sometimes poorly formed granular glandular structures all these are anaplastic tumor cells and these are nests and these are cords right and the second point is infiltration of tumors in fibrous stroma and fat so this is the fibrous stroma and these are the fat cells right and these are fat cells fat cells right and third one is invasion into perivascular and perineural spaces is seen spaces is seen right so these are the features of infiltrating ductal carcinoma so uh, in our next class we will learn about the other uh, carcinomas of the breast so in this class we have completed the invasive infiltrating duct uh, duct carcinoma which in which we have learned about the morphology and the histological features don't forget to comment see you bye